My name is Shekhar Ayer. I'm the CEO of Arcus. And uh, we're here live at uh, Mobile World Congress in uh, Las Vegas. First of all, it's just fabulous to see the crowds returning to live events. Um, I'd say operators, there are kind of three messages that I want to give operators in terms of architectural transformation and networking that we're leading at Arcus. Uh, first and foremost is around the monetizability of 5G. So everybody is looking for new applications that can be created on top of the 5G infrastructure in order to make them monetizable. And so that means go for a programmable architecture, one that is software defined and driven in the network so you can create new applications. Uh, the second one is around what kind of applications make sense. So for example, slicing and being able to provide quality of service through the mobile spectrum and then translate that into the IP network. This is going to be very critical for operators. And we at Arcus have just demonstrated that you can do that using technologies like SRV6 on top of the mobile network. And finally, cloud. Everybody's been talking about cloud and now the action is actually moving more to multi-cloud. How can enterprises consume more than one cloud? The question now is how do telecom operators play in this space? And once again, we've announced an offer called FlexMCN from Arcus, which enables these operators to take that and then build out multi-cloud networking services for the enterprise. I'd like to add that we've announced a bunch of new partnerships and uh, evolving partnerships. So for example, we've expanded our partnership with VMware, where we've now made it easy for partners of VMware and ecosystem partners of VMware to come join the PACE ecosystem of Arcus. Uh, we have also announced a partnership with Vapor.io uh, in terms of what we can do together for the observability of networks and kind of creating a digital twin of the network in terms of observability. Uh, we've got a number of other partnerships like with Broadcom, Ufi Space, et cetera, as well that we have talked about in this event in terms of how we're building out the software technology that can overlay the underlying hardware silicon from Broadcom as well as the uh, white box networking from Ufi Space or companies like Ufi Space. Uh, so just a great, great uh, progress for all of us.